guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Hello if you're new here. It's your girl Bria. I am a senior. <laughs> I just can't believe I said that. I'm a senior in college, and today, speaking of college, we're going to do a college Q&A video because I haven't done one of these yet before. So this is all about college, obviously, you know, my major, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you guys are ready for this video and if you guys are excited to hear my answers to these questions that I have from my friends, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you have and I'll be down in the comments answering some questions. And also subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get started with the questions. Okay, so a couple of my friends, well I'm in like this Facebook group, and I asked them a couple of questions, or asked them to ask me some questions about anything college related, so I have some here with me right now. And the first question that I was asked was from Olivia, shout out Olivia. Um, how long did it take you to figure out what major you would like major in? Um, so first things first, I am a communications media major, like concentrating in professional communications. So like advertising, marketing, all of that jazz. Um, so how long did it take me to figure that out? Um, it didn't take me long, honestly. Um, what helped is I went to like a trade high school and I did something completely different in there. I did early childhood education um, so like obviously teaching with preschoolers in that age and I didn't like it at all um, that was definitely not what I expected it to be um, but so yeah I learned that really quick and I am really big into social media like YouTube Instagram TikTok and like Twitter and all that and I liked the idea of like marketing on there like my dream job that's another question we'll get to that later um, like my dream job is something to do with social media and stuff like that so I thought that that would be a good like avenue for me would be communications media because I started off as a photography concentration but like then I went through like what the department would be like and I didn't not what I was expecting so I switched that up to professional communications so yeah it didn't take me long um Definitely the advertise the early childhood in high school was definitely a huge turning point because all of my life I wanted to be a teacher but then like I went through that shop and I was like oh JK I don't want to do that so that was my turning point and that's where I am today. Okay so another question is from Jillian and she had said what are you majoring in which I already pretty much answered and then would you ever change your major to something different? Um, I thought about it, um, I don't know what it would be, but I did think about, like, adding a major in business, like, double majoring, but then I was like, I don't think I could do that, I don't know if I could have enough time to do that, but I did think about switching schools for a long time, and, um, yeah, so, definitely did think about it, I don't know what I would change it to, maybe more on the business side, maybe writing, like, journalism that kind of way. Kendall had asked, um, will you be living on campus or do you commute? I commute, my friend. Um, I live like 10 minutes away from campus. Wouldn't really be beneficial for me to live there because I already live so close to campus. Um, but yes, I have thought about it. Um, one of my best friends, Neve, shout out to Neve, I love you. Um, I miss you. Um, and she lives on campus and I thought about getting an apartment with her but obviously with the COVID thing going on right now plans have changed and I don't even know if I'm going back to school in the fall but yeah so that was a plan I was planning on living there but then just things got complicated oh Kendall also asked um, how many schools did you look at I looked at four no one two three four four four, four. Um, I did tour more than four, but the, I had a big top four that I was looking at. Um, I, to be honest, I wasn't going to go to college. College was not on my priority list. 
Um, let me just say, I waited like two weeks before applying to like one of my top schools for a deadline. Um, I didn't like, I didn't, I was really not looking to go to college. I was looking to go to like a esthetician school to do like makeup and stuff like that or cosmetology school. Um, but that just didn't work out either. So then I really didn't have a choice but to go to college. Um, but then I looked at like the benefits of college and then I was like, oh, I should probably do that. Um, but yeah, definitely college was not on my priority list at one point in my life. But I'm glad I went and doing good. <laughs> um, Taylor, another question. Taylor asked, how did you make friends and favorite or least favorite class you've taken? Okay, so how I made friends? Um, classes. <laughs> um, I joined dance club on campus. Um, and I've met some of my best friends in there. I have so much fun with them. Definitely join a club if, or any organization, student organization, student government, anything that can get you involved on campus because I guarantee you it will make your college life so much easier. I mean, yes, yeah, you'll have that on top of classes, but like friends and social life is so important in college. I think if I, especially since I commute to school, I'm not around them 24 seven. So if I didn't make any friends like in dance club or my classes or anything, I would not have any other reason to be on campus besides going to class. And I honestly think that's changed my whole perspective of college because like I said, I thrive, I thrive on being social. So if I didn't have any social life on campus, I would literally just be a little hermit and I would stay in my house or I would stay I would literally only be on campus for class and then I'd leave. So definitely take any opportunity you can to join any extracurriculars on campus or anything like that because it'll change your life. Oh, also to answer that second question, favorite class or least favorite class? Um, that's hard. Um, my favorite class I think I've taken so far is Intro to Social Media. Um, super fun. Definitely learns how, like you learn how to like navigate your own social media and how to like figure out analytics and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend that class or anything similar if you have that on campus. Um, oh, my least favorite class, I have a couple. Um, philosophy of Human Nature. It was just not my style of learning. Um, art Appreciation, can't draw for crap. Um, so definitely thrived on papers and tests in that class. There's also another class I didn't really like, but I can't remember the name of it right now. But yeah, those two are definitely not my go-tos, um, but I had to take them, so didn't really have a choice. So here's the question about my post-grad dream job. So. I probably have an unconventional job right now, but definitely as, you know, the years go on, it's definitely becoming more prominent. Um, I want to work in the sports industry, um, specifically like NHL, hockey, maybe even AHL, the American Hockey League or the National Hockey League, or even lower like ECHL or Eastern Conference hockey, um, you know that kind of thing and do social media or marketing for them. Um, I love hockey. Like, if you guys know me personally, you know I love hockey, um, especially ice hockey. Like, I go to the ice hockey games on campus. Like, I love hockey and I would love to like do, even if it's just like posting for the team or, you know, creating content for them, like doing little segments or anything like that. Um, that's definitely my dream job and I hope I can do that one day. That would be so much fun. I literally think I'd have the time of my life. And um, yeah, but if I didn't do that, maybe just like social media in general for some company, maybe even like smaller company. And I think this is gonna be my last question because I think this is one that is huge. Um, uh, what is one thing you wish you knew when you were entering college? Um, don't be afraid. <laughs> um, just go and be yourself. I know what, that's what everybody says, but it's so true. College is a time for you to grow as a person, and you are going to make mistakes. You are going to, you know, fail. Are you kidding me? I've taken 
This past year of college for me was the worst. Junior year sucked. High school, junior year sucked for me too. I got super sick junior year of high school. Um, so that was just a shit show for me. Excuse my language, but it was just not good. Neither was seen, uh, junior year of college for me. Um, I had a huge like mental block. I didn't, let me just say like, I mentally wasn't ready for junior year. So, cause I think I knew like senior year was coming up. I'd have to start looking for internships. It's just a whole lot of pressure junior year, especially at my school. I don't know how every school is. Um, but I definitely wasn't prepared for junior year. Okay, so my camera stopped recording, but I remember where I was. So pretty much I wasn't really mentally prepared for junior year of college, um, but you know, I rebounded. I'm getting back into it. Um, senior year is a big year for me. So um, like I said, going back to like the beginning question, like you know what, you, you need to be yourself and you need to allow yourself to grow because if you don't allow yourself to grow and make those mistakes and whatever happens in college, you're not going to learn from yourself and you're not going to learn what's out there for you. And yeah, like parties are fun, but you need to be safe, be conscious of everything around you and allow yourself to take in every single moment because I started college spring of 2018 and now I'll be graduating in like a year, so, you know, you, you, time flies in college and you need to take in every single moment, make as many friends as you can and, well, make as many friends as you can, but you know, have those close ones that are going to be with you through the rest of your college career, maybe even beyond that. Um, and then also, like I said in the beginning, join anything you can, but don't overwhelm yourself because college can get overwhelming mentally, physically, stuff like that. But yes, join as many things as you can. Make your college experience the best that it can. To my freshmen going in and anybody going in during this pandemic right now, yes, this semester might suck because I know I'm not really ready for it. With the hybrid model going virtual staying home your freshman year like freshman first semester not being able to dorm but you know if you're allowed on campus spring in the spring you know you're gonna make the best out of that semester because you gotta make up for the fall semester you know so you always have to keep your mind open and make it the best you can no matter what comes your way Alright, so that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. That was a long talk. I hope you guys learned anything from that video. Um, but yes, so thank you guys so much for watching this college video. Um, I'm excited to be posting college content more, hopefully. Um, for my fall semester so far, um, we're going hybrid and one of my classes is like one day in person and one day online so I'm only on campus one day a week this semester so great to start to my senior year I have Fridays off you know what's it's, we're finishing strong here um but yeah so I hope I can post more college like week of my life soon maybe like productive weeks of my life or something like that um let me guys know if you want more college stuff um I love college um I think college content is so much fun to make because you can learn so much from it um but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you learned anything from me. Or if you just like college in general, if you guys are going into your senior year of college, we're almost there. We can do it. Um, freshmen, good luck. Sophomores, you're going to kill it. Juniors, I hope your year is better than mine. But yes, comment down below anything you want. I'll be down there. Um, subscribe as usual so you can be a part of my little family that we have going on and um, push notifications I almost forgot what those were push them so you get notified when I upload any other videos coming soon and I will see you guys next time and cheers to senior year of college